In 2010, Jeff Hardy was set to release as a part of WWE Elite Series 1 when Mattel took over the WWE license and began producing WWE action figures. So the Elite Series 1 Jeff Hardy figure became a cancelled figure in the line and only a few made it out to actual retail shelves and it became a very sought after and very rare figure amongst the WWE action figure community. And for a long time, this was the most sought after figure, man. I mean, people were making fakes of this figure, people were selling products prototypes of this figure. I think there was even a box of old prototypes, or I think that was kind of the story that they told everybody, but I think I think either somebody got a bunch of fakes made by somebody and started selling them on eBay, or there were some prototypes probably leaked from the factory, something like that. However, man, Jeff Hardy has a very unique and a very interesting background when it comes to his WWE action figures from Mattel specifically. And today, we're going to be breaking down the entire lore of it and just giving you guys all of my thoughts and opinions on this matter. So with that being said, man, Buckle the hell up, let's get into this. So like we were talking about, we did have the WWE Elite Series 1 cancellation of Jeff Hardy. Beautiful looking figure, it would have been, so, I mean, it carries its own illustrious lore around it. It's a legendary figure in its own right. I think that's kind of dipped a little bit, but I still think it's a very sought after figure in terms of the original Elite Series 1 Jeff Hardy. Had that figure made it out, I think there are some out there that are actually meant on card that people have in their collections. Still a sought after piece, something that people definitely hold dear. It's definitely one of the most legendary WWE. UE Mattel figures ever made by them. But with this Elite One Jeff Hardy figure not being released, Jeff Hardy kind of became this epic folktale, if you will. He became sort of a legend. He became this very sought after thing that everybody wanted. They wanted to get their hands on it. They wanted to have that Elite Series One Jeff Hardy. Now we fast forward to WrestleMania 33 and the return of the Hardy Boys, an epic moment in itself. And being such an epic moment that they created an entire series called the Epic Moments line in which they took moments from WWE history that were epic and they created them into figure packs and we got the epic moments Hardy Boys return figures with their first sort of elites coming back. We have the elite Jeff Hardy with Matt Hardy from the return of WrestleMania. Now this actually came hand in hand. I want to say they were about a week apart in terms of release. It was two different Jeff Hardy figures that came out around this time. You had the epic moments with the Matt Hardy and then you had the entrance greats figure and the entrance greats WWE elite Jeff Hardy figure was pretty much a one of one copy of of the original canceled Elite Series 1 Jeff Hardy figure. Now what's crazy about this is I remember when this figure first released and everybody had their hair on fire for this figure because they were actually getting a shot at owning the Elite 1 Jeff Hardy. Now it wasn't everything the same. The belt was a little different. The sleeves were a little different. Even the head sculpt was a bit different from the original Elite Series 1 Jeff Hardy figure. However, this entrance grace figure was massive. It was a huge deal. I remember people losing their minds when Jeff Hardy immediately returned. All of the figure community knew immediately Immediately, right? We were going to be getting a handful of Jeff Hardys. We we're going to start to get Jeff Hardy pumped out clip and knew that he would be plugged in the line over and over and over again. But the entrance greats Jeff Hardy and the epic moments Jeff Hardy figure kind of went hand in hand about a week apart. I do believe if my mind serves me correctly, the Jeff Hardy entrance greats figure hit and then just a week later or maybe right there before it, it was the epic moments figure. Now with everybody having the opportunity to own the Elite One Jeff Hardy or at least a version of that, this figure definitely sold like hotcakes. But I think that legendary status is a bit gone now you can actually still get the entrance greats figure on Amazon right now for just under or just at retail price for that entrance greats elite figure. Great figure overall. The epic moments was great. But one thing that I want to unpack in today's video as well is just if you go through the history of WWE Mattel elites and ultimate Jeff Hardy figures, I don't really feel like we have ever gotten just the greatest Jeff Hardy figures of all time from Mattel. Now just hear me out. All right. I want you to just buckle the hell up. All right. I think that his ultimate edition figures were questionable at best. If you look at his first fan takeover Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy, we all knew that we were getting a Jeff Hardy Ultimate Edition. Everybody lost their minds with the fan takeover voting system, and it came out, and we knew what attire we were going to be getting. We were excited for it, but when it was released, everybody can agree that the torso was way too big. It did not fit him. It's similar to Cody Rhodes. It was similar to some other guys we've seen in Ultimate Edition form. It just didn't sit right, man. It didn't look quite right. Way too big. It made him too tall. It was definitely a figure that we wanted. It was definitely a moment that we 
wanted, but the execution of the figure was lacking, and this figure was pretty hard to get, man. I mean, I know that it's a fan takeover, but it kept selling out on Amazon, and now in the aftermarket, it's pretty hectic nowadays to get this compared to his other Ultimate Edition that we're going to get into, and his second Ultimate Edition, while the torso was better, and I like this figure. I think a lot of people drag this figure up and down the street for whatever reason, but it is because I, I think this is kind of a mishmash of different Jeff Hardy eras and themes and things. It wasn't one of those epic moments like his first Ultimate Edition. It wasn't one of those just hardcore Team Extreme looks. It wasn't one of those iconic looks of Jeff Hardy in its own right. You know, if you're a massive Jeff Hardy guy and you like this gear, I like the figure personally. I'm just saying I don't think that it quite captured the hearts of all Jeff Hardy fans alike. Even though I do love this figure and I love Jeff Hardy, massive Jeff Hardy fan, one of my tops of all time, this figure did not hit quite like the rest. The head sculpt was weird with the mouth open, and I think that this figure could have been much, much better. Now, just breaking that down, his first Ultimate Edition, it didn't even have the longer sleeves. They used the promo shots from his original promo, you know, backstage shots, and so his sleeves were shorter, so it wasn't the traditional Jeff Hardy sleeves. And then on his second Ultimate Edition, he only had one long sleeve, and on the other arm, it was a, you know, the body paint going on. So we didn't even get double jointed sleeves for this Ultimate Edition figure, which may not sound the biggest deal, but it, I think it does. It's definitely something to talk about. And then if you want to get into his elite figures... Before he left WWE and went to AEW, which we'll get into in a moment, all of his good to great figures that Mattel made for him in elite figure form, all of them were single jointed. We really didn't get a double jointed arm updated technology Jeff Hardy. Now, you have a ton of great Jeff Hardy elites. You have some more modern figures. You have some flashback figures. But another thing is we really never got a definitive Team Extreme Jeff Hardy figure in our collections. I know you had the Hardy Boys 2-pack. You had a couple Hardy Boys 2-packs, which were great. And I'm hoping that we'll get some more. I hope that these guys return so we can get an epic Ultimate Edition 2-pack or some sort of ridiculous Team Extreme Elite set. That's definitely something that I want to see, but he's had a ton of great Elite figures. You have the Survivor Series Elite. You have the pink gear with the lightning, which I love. You have that 2-pack with Triple H and the SmackDown Elite 2-pack. You have the Elite 67. There are some great Jeff Hardy figures, but even then, they were single-jointed, and the pants weren't even the greatest, but I mean, I'll let the pants slide. The only double-jointed arm Jeff Hardy figures that we got were his two Ultimate Edition and then the top picks figure and in that top picks figure which I think besides that second ultimate edition this may have been his last elite figure in the line from Mattel for Jeff Hardy figure specifically I'm pretty sure this was a basically a re-release with different face paint we had already seen this elite for the most part in the FYE two-pack elite set with Matt Hardy that we had just seen again it does have face paint and things but it's practically the exact same attire. Another thing to mention also is when Jeff Hardy first came in and his return with Matt at WrestleMania 33, I was super excited for that because at the time, people were, you could take basic action figures and switch their arms onto elite figures to do an arm swap. Maybe the elite was too big or maybe the pattern you want to make a cool fix up. But when the Hardys returned to WWE, all of the basics immediately switched to that garbage elbow rotation and they took away bicep cut. So now every Jeff Hardy figure that we got didn't even have bicep rotation, so you couldn't do the shoulder swap or the arm swaps to keep those different fix-ups coming. If I wanted to take my entrance grates and put some different sleeves on it to, to make a cool fix-up, you couldn't even do so because the arms no longer had bicep cut. You couldn't remove them and put them on these elite figures that we were getting. So that was very, very bummy. So all that to say that I think we really missed out on a golden opportunity for Jeff Hardy. And I know he left to go to AEW, but we haven't even gotten an AEW figure of his just yet. His first appearance on AEW television is being made in figure form, and I do believe we do have two Jeff Hardys coming this year. There was the one with the face paint, but his debut appearance with the chair has yet to release, and it's not even a wrestling gear. It's a man bun gear. It's got all of his tattoos on there. I think it's going to come with a shirt of some kind. It may not even come with a shirt of some kind, but even if it doesn't come with a shirt of some kind, it's still not a wrestling gear. We are going to have to wait a little bit longer on the face paint gear, and I think he would be a perfect addition to the Supreme line, but I highly highly doubt that's going to happen either. So Jeff Hardy's action figures, ones that we love to collect, they've kind of made it hard to get that definitive, nice Jeff Hardy action figure with double jointed arms with all the bells and whistles because his ultimate editions were ultimately misses. And then he still hasn't gotten an AEW figure to this day. And I know that really doesn't have anything to do with his Mattel run, but it kind of does in the sense that we're still missing Jeff Hardy figures that are really, really great. And there are some great figures, but again, they're not with the updated technology. They're not with butterfly joints. They don't have the double jointed arms. And again, there are some instances where those things are things, but they are not up to par, I don't think. I think they are lacking in a lot of ways. And while I do love these figures, I love that Top Talents Elite. I love that second Ultimate Edition in the white with the zebra print. I 
I love his first Ultimate Edition. I think the torso is way too damn big. But there are just holes in our Jeff Hardy collections, and there's so many different looks that they made. And I know WWE can't do anything about it right now because he's not under contract or anything. But when he finally returns, man, they got to pump out some damn Ultimate Editions. They got to get this man some, some very good figures. We need the Hardy Boys. We need some Hardy Boy Elites. And I know, again, we did get the two-pack, but that wasn't Team Extreme peak Hardy Boys looks. So yeah, I wanted to talk about it. So I want to give a huge shout out to the Case Fresh Pod because they didn't give me the idea for this video. This video this video idea just kind of popped in my brain from listening to their pod. So they do have an, a wrestling action figure podcast and I was listening to it. My boys Fig Heel and Fig Vault, Mike and Joe. I was listening to their podcast the other day and they started talking about the entrance grace Jeff Hardy and the Elite One lore and all that different things and it just kind of gave me the idea behind this video that Jeff Hardy has really been underutilized in a lot of ways. I could do a whole video on AJ Styles as well, where there's these guys that have just been underutilized. I did it on Stone Cold Steve Austin before as well. He just said they treat him weird. He's, he has a weird history. There's these iconic looks that they've yet to make in their long history of making Mattel WWE action figures. I mean, we're coming up on 14 years, and we've never had peak Hardy Boy figures. Is that not insane? You can talk about the return. You can talk about the two-pack from FYE. You can talk about the ringside exclusive two-pack. But we've never had, like, just TLC, WrestleMania X7. Hard. And you can talk about the instances with the basics or, like, different things like this. But the fact of the matter remains, we are missing Jeff Hardy figures in our collections. Hell, you can throw Matt in there, too. I'm just saying, Jeff Hardy needs better figures from Mattel. And when he gets the opportunity, they need to capitalize on it. But until then, I'm going to collect those AEW figures if we could ever get them in hand. That's pretty much going to wrap up my thoughts on this. Hopefully, I didn't forget anything, man. But I think that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on this Jeff Hardy situation down in the comment section below. I would love to know where you guys stand. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What figures did you like of Jeff Hardy? Did you not care for those Ultimate Editions? I, I feel like a lot of people didn't like his Ultimate Edition figures. But anyways, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up the video. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel, man. Appreciate all those fellas over there. You guys are absolutely goaded. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support on the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.